Well, the filmmaker, Patrick Volrath, he really wanted uh, this movie to be a work of realism. It was very important to him that it not uh, be your typical Hollywood uh, story. Well, there are a lot of movies, Hollywood movies, maybe action movies that take a circumstance like this, a hijacking or something like that, and make it sensational and make it an adventure, make it fun. And those movies are fun. I, I, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those movies necessarily, but when that's all you see and you see it over and over and over again, I, I do think that um, it becomes I think worthwhile to make a movie that's not about turning these situations into fun, but rather examining the situations from a more realistic and human perspective. And that's what we were trying to do with this movie uh, because a hijacking is obviously not fun in real life. And there's a lot of very complicated human dynamics at play that are um, tragically emblematic of, of our time. And they're not simple. It's not about heroes and villains. It's not about uh, you know, saints and devils. Everyone is a human being with a complicated identity and a complicated story behind what brought them into that situation. And uh, that complexity and that humanity is what we were really focused on um, in making 7500. I was playing the co-pilot and the man playing the pilot, Carlo, uh, is an actor but also a pilot. He's a real pilot. He flew for Lufthansa for many years. So he was my teacher and we did drills and I learned all the codes and all the procedures and all the checklists and all the controls and I flew in actual flight simulators and uh, really worked to try to make it seem real because when you're uh, playing part of someone who's just doing their normal job, and doing things just by rote, things that you've done a hundred times. The only way to make that look real is to really do it a hundred times. I would honestly say that 7500 is one of the most, if not the most challenging uh, acting jobs I've ever done. It was incredibly hard and I knew it was going to be uh, going into it because the filmmaker Patrick told me how he wanted to do it. Uh, he, it's, it, we didn't do it the way that you normally shoot a movie where there are scenes written and you roll camera and you shoot a scene for two minutes and then you cut and then you do another take. When we were shooting this movie, we would leave the camera rolling for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes at a time. And we weren't really following a script at that point. We knew kind of what needed to happen, but it wasn't about doing lines. It was about being in a reality. And the reality of the situation was uh, really brutal. And, and uh, so it felt really brutal. And uh, so the, the, the entire thing took a, a real toll on, on me emotionally. And um, there's uh, something satisfying about doing it, but it is, uh, it is quite a challenge. Um, I'm glad that the shoot only lasted, you know, whatever it was, six weeks, because uh, if it were a longer shoot, I think it, it really would have been very painful. One of the things I love about this movie is that it's not simple. A lot of movies are simple. Simplicity is what makes things entertaining. That's what makes a crowd cheer. And when you watch a movie and, you know, the violins swell and the camera pushes in, you know, that's the filmmaker telling you what to feel in a very simple way. This film doesn't do that. This film doesn't tell you what to feel. This film will leave you often not knowing what to feel. It's complicated. It's not simple. And that's, I think, a worthwhile feeling to have because I think that's the case of what's, what's going on in our world right now. It's not simple. And we'd all like to reduce it to something simple. We'd all like to say, oh, I can explain this situation in you know, the length of a tweet. But you can't. It's not really that simple. And uh, that complexity is um, perhaps what I'd, I'd 
I hope audiences take away from the movie.